trying to decide between a fiber laser and a CO2 laser. One of them cuts through wood like butter. One of them marks metal with pinpoint precision. But which one's right for you? In this video, we're gonna be going over the key differences between the CO2 and fiber lasers. That way, you have a better idea on what to choose, whether it's for your small business, your side hustle, or your next creative leap. Let's start with CO2 lasers. These use a carbon dioxide gas mixture as a laser medium, and they admit a wavelength of 10,600 nanometers. This makes them perfect for organic materials. Think wood signs, acrylic decor, leather goods, even tumblers and glass etching, perfect for CO2s. But they can't engrave raw metal without the help of things like marking sprays or coatings, and are often require more space due to the laser tube and mirror path setup. If this isn't cutting it, let's talk fiber lasers. These use fiber optic cables doped in rare earth elements, producing a laser beam at 1,064 nanometers. That shorter wavelength is absorbed by the metals, which makes the fiber laser perfect for engraving on stainless steel, brass, aluminum, other kinds of metals, even some plastics used in industrial areas. Fiber lasers are incredibly precise and low maintenance. No mirrors to align, no tubes to replace. They're fast, clean, and compact. They're built for one thing, metal. They can't cut or engrave wood or acrylic, and the upfront investment is typically higher. Let's break this down side by side to see the real differences. CO2 or fiber laser? If you're focused on signs, gifts, crafts, or engraving tumblers, a CO2 laser is your best bet. It's versatile and friendly to beginners. But if you're all about engraving metals, custom tools, knives, challenge coins, machine parts, then fiber is your lane. The answer depends on your goals and materials. Got more questions? Make sure to join the Omtech community on our Facebook groups and like, comment, and subscribe on the YouTube channel for all of our upcoming laser content.